How you doing guys? Professor EDC with a surprise video and it's uh, been a long time since since last time I've, I've done uh, a review in English. So I have the Ferrum Forge Stinger in my hands and this is going to the collection. So why not? Um, I thought anyways, um, let's get started. This is a small knife. It's about, uh, here we go, it is about seven and a quarter inches long. The, the blade on the knife is about three and a half inches right here and the cutting edge is about two two and three quarters inches long it's a rather light um blade well at least for me let's see it's 73.2 grams now let's see in ounces 2.58, 2.6 ounces. Um, let's check out the thickness. That's very, uh, that's going to be a, a pretty good, but let's put it in inches. I have it in millimeters. So in inches, it's 0.1 inch thick. And behind the edge, this is very thin, 0.01 inches. That's very, very thin. I don't know if, if um, how you um, translate it, if it's uh, 10 thousands or, or something like that, but it's 0 0.10 inches, as you can probably see right there and let's make some comparisons all right my typical comparisons in Spanish for my Spanish viewers here we have a uh, Victorinox electrician uh, a sharpie and instead of using um, Mexican money, I'll use a quarter right here so you can see the size and the world famous big lighter. <laughs> All right, let's go with the rats. Rat two and the rat one so you can see it's about the same size as the rat two just by a um, couple of millimeters and it is much smaller than the rat one like i said it's it's a small blade it's compared to the bug out bench made bug out the bug out being a bit just a bit bigger and the uh, um, cold steel tough light so as you can see bigger than the tough light almost the same size as the bug out might it even be the same size perhaps a millimeter perhaps and well i have it here so why not here is against the spiderco endura I have it in and the a gec i don't what was this uh the 44 i think gunstock model And let's, 
Well, I was supposed to use the PM2. Anyways, let's leave it at that and let's talk about this blade. This blade has uh, have has gotten pretty good reviews. Um, the steel is Nitro V, very similar to um, 14 C28, which would be, I think, um, a Sandvik, close to that steel. I read that it, it's a strong steel, it's going to hold an edge okay, but that's not its strength and pretty corrosion resistant and um and what else what else about the that steel i'm forgetting um one point about this steel ah it's easy to sharpen easy to sharpen it's got a fuller which um it's usable to open the blade, I have a large hand, so it's sometimes difficult, as you just saw, but there we go. Um, opened with uh, thumb opening and middle finger flicking is easier. It's a liner lock with um, that is skeletonized or milled. Uh, the the liners small deep carry pocket clip which i must say um i do not like this clip it, it just um the proportion against the knife it's just uh just don't like it i i don't pay attention that much to clips but this one you know, I, I the moment I, I saw it, I didn't like it. It serves well, um, no problem. Uh, ergonomics are pretty good for this size of knife and, and my hand, especially if I choke up uh, to the finger choil. And it, it has this this uh, this liner lock that. I really, really don't like this, and that is, I'll compare it to the RAT 2. You can see the liner in the RAT 2 has jimping and it makes it easier to manipulate. This one, I have to get my thumb in there, really like between um, the top liner and the bottom liner to push. And close I don't like that at all um, it's slippery and you really gotta get your your thumb in there um, so um, that's the only big issue I, I see in this in this blade I will make um, some jimping on the liner uh, myself uh, in order to for this to function better it's a great slicer that it is uh, a very EDC friendly blade G10 covers and runs at around 90 bucks and what else can I say about this blade I like it yeah um, I like the this like mate um, mat mate <laughs> this type of a uh, beat blast or finish on the blade. I really like it. Uh, it has a backspacer G10 backspacer, and for that price, I gotta be honest. Um, I do like the blade. I'm keeping it. I mean for the moment. Because of the steel and uh, because I'm testing some um, diamond compounds that uh, I'm going to promote. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm doing a lot of testing in, in different steels uh, with my straps and, and these compounds. 
that's why I, I, I'm keeping this blade. Otherwise, I, I would sell it. Uh, it's not a blade for me. Um, you guys know I, I prefer bigger blades, sturdier blades, and if I'm going to if I'm going to keep a, a blade of that side size, uh, you know, I, I prefer much better the the bug out or the Sage Five Spider Cross Sage Five. Of course, those are um, more expensive knives. But let's talk a little bit. Oh, I forgot one thing. Um, this runs on on bearings, um, and the pivot is not uh, free spinning, as you can see right here the shape of this um, makes it um, be fixed uh, what else anything else about this I think it's done by CBV I'm not sure um, the design is Ferro and Forge and and I, I remember something about uh, being involved with CBV but anyways and now talking about price it, it's tough it's tough because there it has a lot of competition um, right there and what type of it has big competition um, cheaper but a good good knife uh, also um, not also Classic already uh, would be a rat uh, for much cheaper. That runs about uh, 38 in D2 steel. But closer to it, it, it has. Um, there's the bare knuckle at around 75 bucks. And for my hand and, and my style. Or the style I, I like to carry, the bare knuckles more my type of knife. Um, even closer to its price, we have the in the uh, Endura. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's the Endura. <laughs> and this this blade from Spyderco, I really, really love. This is one of the best things they make. Um, pretty simple at a great price and uh, a, a good good um, steel um, decent steel VG10 and they run about the same price so if, if I had to choose between those I would definitely go with the Endura also at in the same price um, another great one you have the Cold, uh, cold Steel Cold 4 in XHP so there's no comparison right there um, and, and I do have to think about these things I, I do think about these things um, cheaper there's the Backlash the, the QSP Penguin and you know like I said this is a good good knife it's going to it has a great geometry it's very thin This is not for hard work, as some of the ones I mentioned, but some of the ones I mentioned are, are going to be able to take a, a harder beating or a more versatile use, right? So, well, that's what I think. It, it is a good model. I like it. It's uh, aesthetically uh, pleasing, but um, even with the Gunstock 44. This is about a uh, hundred dollars, ten dollars more, more or less. And yeah, this is the bigger blade and and all that. But uh, again, I'll take the GEC. It's a good knife. There's a, a big market out there for it. But in my case. There are other blades I do prefer, and it has this this really um, not good liner that uh, it bothers me. <laughs> it just bothers me. Anyways, there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. 
Um, please leave your comments and uh, I'll get back to you. As professor, I have to give you some homework and please subscribe, share, click on the bell for notifications, like and participate and you can reach me there in my um, mail and Instagram, all right? Also, um, to my United States friends, happy Thanksgiving. You have a great one. And uh, let's look for those things that we should be thankful for and not those things that we don't have, all right? And let's remember the essence of Thanksgiving. Have a great one, guys. Professor EDC out.